Hey guys and welcome to today's Planarius guide. So today we have a very special boss because every ceramic loon has 10 times more HP which means T1 is going to be very very hard. We are starting the game by placing down an engineer monkey and disabling auto start. Now place down your first farm and maybe a banana farmer if you have some left over and make sure to upgrade your banana farm to increased and greater production. Now place down one more 200 farm. Time to upgrade your engineer monkey now to oversized nails pin and double gun. Build two more farms and upgrade both of your farms to increased and greater production. Against the lab balloons in round 28, make sure to place down the sniper, put the sniper on strong and upgrade your sniper to full metal jacket. The next step is very simple, just upgrade two of your farms to a marketplace. Against the camo balloons, make sure to upgrade your sniper to night vision goggles and make sure he is on camo priority. Now upgrade your engineer monkey to larger service area and to balloon trap and put your balloon trap as far to the top as possible. Upgrade your last two farms also to marketplaces. Place down an alchemist and sell your sniper and make sure your alchemist is on strong and upgrade your alchemist to lead to gold. The next step is to place down a boat and upgrade your boat to 002 so it can pop the camo balloons at the end of round 37. Upgrade your alchemist to rubber to gold and larger potions. The last step before round 40 is to upgrade your boat to Merchantman and Favor Trade. Okay, so as I mentioned before, tier 1 is going to be the hardest part this week, so make sure both of your bombs are on close.
After beating tier 1, make sure you get your own Monkeyopolis and place on your first farms all in range of your Monkeyopolis for extra cash generation. To support your rubber to gold, make sure to place down two blue gunners, one on last and one on strong and upgrade both of them to 0, 1, 2, so to bigger globs and stronger glue. For camo defense just get a middle pass engineer and upgrade it to cleansing foam and also to oversized nails and put it over your traps. The more balloon traps you have, the easier it gets, so I highly recommend to get 4 or maybe up to 5 balloon traps um, for extra safety against the ceramic balloons. At this point you can start building marketplaces in range of your Monkeyopolis. For more defense we are going for a wizard and also for a support alchemist in its range. And now keep building marketplaces until round 58. In round 58 you can start building two favorite trade boats, one in the top and one in the bottom pool to increase the sell back of all your marketplaces. For defense against tier 2 we are going for a spirit of the forest and for our main DPS we are going for a MAD. After tier 2 you can sell your MAD and make sure to buff your spirit of the forest with an alchemist. Now get yourself a tier 5 farm and an overclock and always overclock your tier 5 farm for extra cash. At this point until round 80 make sure to place down as many marketplaces as possible and if you run out of space make sure to upgrade all of them to tier 4.
Against tier 3, you can just get another MAD, a Ray of Doom and upgrade your Alchemist to Permabrew. You can also get a balloon exclusion zone, but that's optional. Alright, as always, against tier 4 and tier 5 you can follow my setup and just spam sun avatars, but you can also go for a couple of paragons if you want to. If this guide helped you, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and use my creator code PUNGY in the BTD6 store and Battles2 store to support me for free. Thanks a lot and I see you guys on Elite and on Rank. Bye!